Um, this is Neil Osterweil. I'm with Elsevier Oncology, and I'm speaking with Dr. Timothy Whalen from McMaster University in Hamilton, Ontario, regarding a very interesting study on uh, accelerated radiation for women with breast cancer. Um, Dr. Whalen, could you please summarize for us uh, your key findings and what uh, tell us what this might mean for for women with early stage breast cancer? Well, we know that whole breast radiation is important for women after lumpectomy because it reduces the risk of cancer coming back, prevents uh, subsequent mastectomy, but also improves overall survival. Yet we also know that not all women receive that therapy in part because of the inconvenience and cost of treatment. Now, standard approaches involve five to six and a half weeks of radiation. And we compared an accelerated three-week course of therapy to the longer standard five-week course of whole breast radiation. And we randomized over 1,200 women to the two treatment arms and followed them for 12 years. What we found was the risk of local occurrence was quite low in both treatment groups and very similar, approximately uh, 6 to 7 percent. Perhaps most importantly though, the risk of radiation toxicity was quite limited both in the accelerated and the standard approach. Severe toxicity was 3 percent or less. Uh, so proving that this therapy is safe and effective. And given the long-term data, I think the therapy is now really ready to be offered to select women uh, who participate, who were eligible in that study. And do you think this would change practice in general in Canada or elsewhere, say in the United States? That's a good question. We've already adopted it in Canada, uh, but, but I think now with the long-term data, it'll have a stronger influence on clinical practice in the United States as well. Thank you, Dr. Wheeler. Okay.